Here's the key. Inexpensive. If you enjoy inexpensive, very good quality smelling type of scent that is woody, that is vetiver, that is foresty, not necessarily green, but more in the woody type of forest, smoky, earthy, leathery. Yeah, if you enjoy those categories of scents, the main thing is inexpensive, then this is going to be something you have to try. It's going to be up your alley. Now, what happened was I recorded this video, but then later I have to not publish it. And just before I publish it, I realized that, wait, it has gone out of stock. I couldn't find it anywhere. But it was just rarely available for, I picked mine up for about $15 or so. This is a, looks to be a 100 ml bottle. So it just went out, you know, I just couldn't find it just right before I was going to publish this. So I'm still going to publish it just in case if you ever come back in stock. And if you see it, if not, you know, just listen for it for what it is. Okay. Just watch the video for what it is. It's not a big deal. Like I said, 15 bucks for this kind of thing. I was shocked. It is the first one I purchased from the house. This is from by Blows, September Morn, EDP. I only wore it a few times, but every time I wore it, I was surprised by how good it is, All right? Spray time. Spray is perfectly good, okay? It's not the top-notch type of spray, but it's still very functional. It does not act cheapy. The bottle itself is, you know, it's normal, easy, like maybe kind of like uh, the Dior Ohm, kind of, all right? Perfectly fine. Now, this is a cheapy house. I think all their offerings are very inexpensive for around $20 or under. Especially this one is in the top, okay? I was going to say, especially this one smells really uh, very much better than the pricing, okay? But then the top, there will be the alcohol, okay? the perfume alcohol. But then I realized something. It when it goes from the perfume alcohol into the top note so smoothly so I cannot discern is it the the kind of like rubbing alcohol on the top or is it already getting to the top on um, top of the notes okay because on top it smells a little bit like vetiver plus the grapefruit the citrusy and then later I realized it is Adding the vet, you know, the vetiver is actually the one that came up on top. So there's a gray area between the rubbing alcohol and then transition into vetiver. And that is very interesting. I have not experienced that before in any fragrance. So that makes me think maybe it's not the rubbing alcohol on top, but instead it is the vetiver plus the citrusy that is making me feel or smell that way. Okay. The reason why I still had to bring this up, this fragrance, because it's really good. Really, really, really good. If you, I do enjoy this type of category, okay? So if you enjoy these categories of scents, the category that I mentioned, then this has to be looked at. And just look at, if you ever see it coming back in stock for a good price, I would honestly say this is worth about $50, the way it smells, or even higher. I can imagine this, you know, in a different brand, could, they could charge up to 70 or 80 bucks. I'm not kidding. This is a very, um, very intriguing, uh, very well put together type of scent. It does not smell cheap at all. Maybe the first five, 10 seconds when you, when I thought it may be rubbing alcohol. But then I think it's mostly the vetiver, fresh cedar. There's fresh cedar and along with the citrus. The incense come to play pretty much, and it is a big player. But then I think it's mostly the vetiver and the leather and the incense and, and some wood. All right, but it doesn't smell fecal or funky or any of those type of a strong wood. It is in there though. You could tell other than the woody the cedar. There's also the wood O U D. So mainly what I get this is the fresh woody vetiver type of vibe now this vetiver is more 
it's in between. It's not really as dirty or realistic like the Guerlain Vetiver or the um, more uh, sophisticated like the Tom for clean uh, gray vetiver. It's kind of in between. Yeah. This name, September Morn, I think suits the bottle perfectly, the coloration as well. It does make me feel the change of season from the little bit warm weather into the autumn. And that's what the September represents, the September morn. I keep thinking it's like morning, okay? But September morn sounds a little bit more depressing, but it, it does have to carry the freshness uh, that works for the summertime, but the more denser notes for the autumn while it's keeping the whole vetiver base of a clean, incense woody type of uh, vibe during the whole time. It doesn't really change all that much. Yeah, I think it jumps to the dry down fairly quickly. So imagine just, I was just thinking about what is closest to it. Maybe kind of like the um, Lalique Encore Noir line. Okay. Kind of like that, but not exactly. It's not a clone, it's just the same vibe. Yeah. Let's see what else. All right, this is going to be a super quick take. The longevity is half a day, no problem, four or five hours. I especially like to use this in the early morning or late night when it's a bit cool and cozy. Uh, I wear this a few times in the morning. It just so um, put me puts me in a very, very sad hold type of mindset. It's a kind of settled me in a little bit, ready for the day. And that's what it does is a very more of a sophisticated, more of a manly type of scent. And it settles me down for sure. It, it just has that vibe instead of being jumping around and, uh, uh, you know, it does. It does have the vibe. It's, it's nice. I would say this is similar to most of the woody, woody, woody and woody type of um, category of scents with the vetiver as well. So it's not super unique. Okay, but it is just uh, kind of amazing how for this fifteen dollar type of scent they're able to do that. So it kind of made me wonder: wait, are the other brands overcharging, or this one is undercharging? Right? You could go both ways. So now this one does not. It's a little bit too airy for me to feel that it's gonna be, you know, the same category as the example like the back right there. The um, NASA models or the more of a niche over hundred dollars type of sense right there, but anyway, it just I will not I will not put this like you know over hundred dollars category of a sense. I don't know. I, don't know. I sometimes I struggle with that. Is if I don't need the pricing, but I do, and that kind of plays tricks on me. So now um, I wear whenever I wear this, the. The people around me, it mentioned a few times. I remember, uh, what well, did they say? It was, oh, you have a strong fragrance. Okay, so I was surprised. Maybe I was a nice make to it. I did not pick it up anymore, but they will really pick it up. And because it's not those sweeties, it's not sweet or blue or uh, super citrusy. No, not at all. So this type of scent does not really garner compliment. They say, oh, it, it's nice. All right, the reaction was, oh, that, that's nice. But n not like, you know, example, not the, the Armani, the sweet, um, you know, stuff uh, that people usually compliment. So this is not that, okay. Many for sure occasions. No, nah, it's not going to offend anybody. So just wear whatever you like, but just don't be looking for compliment, okay. Yeah, it's nice, but they're not really going to give a compliment for this type. That's all I'm saying. All right. I hope that's kind of helpful if you see it for a good price and you like that category. It's actually a no-brainer for me. Okay, so I hope that is kind of helpful for this one. September more by Blows. As always, see you next time.